Hey Troop One, Scoutmaster Hopper here with another Scoutmaster tip. Today I'm talking about backpacking stoves. I've got three kinds of stoves and two kinds of fuel types. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each and do a little demonstration so you can see how the different stoves work. If you're working on the cooking merit badge, you're going to want to pay attention because backpacking stoves is covered in one of the requirements. Let's talk fuel type first canister stoves. A lot of you guys have seen this. They go with these jet boils. They're really easy to use. They're pretty light. When it's ready, when it's time to cook, you screw it onto the bottom of your of your stove, turn on the fuel, click an igniter, boom, you're cooking right away. They're great for getting water hot fast. So if you need to get water to a boil, this is the way to go. However, there's not a lot of temperature control. So if you're cooking something a little more delicate, you're really going to have a hard time with your canister stove. The other thing you're going to want to notice, most of your canister stoves, the cook pot's pretty small. It's great for one person, but if you're trying to cook for a patrol or a tent mate, you're not going to be able to cook for both of you at one time. Also, these canisters, they're basically disposable. Once you're out of fuel, you throw them away. The second kind of fuel is the liquid fuel. These go with our whisper light stoves. Now the liquid fuel is great. It works in super high altitudes, super cold temperature, even windier conditions. When you're out of fuel, you simply fill it back up with more fuel, so it's reusable. We like that. The other thing is the whisper lights have the bigger cooktop, which means you're able to use a bigger pot. Great for patrol cooking. Let's talk about the stoves themselves. First, we've got our jet boils. This is one type of jet boil. This is your whole cooking system. You've got your stove, you've got the igniter below here, and then you can actually eat out of this pot. It all kind of goes together. So this is your whole kit for the jet boil. Here we've got an ultralight stove. In here is the actual stove. It connects to the fuel canister here, and then you've got to have a pot that sits on top. This whole kit is pretty light. It's actually a little bit lighter than the jet boil setup. But again, really only good for one person. When you talk about the whisper light, you've got your fuel in here, you've got your stove, and you've got a windscreen, and you've got the pump. Then you got to also have your pot to cook in. So this is your whole setup with the whisper light. Obviously it's a lot bigger, a lot bulkier, a lot heavier, but you're cooking for more people. So that's the basics of your different kinds of stoves. You've got your jet boil, ultralight backpacking stove, you've got your whisper light, you've got your liquid fuel, and you've got your canister fuel. Next, we'll talk about how the stoves work.